Ryan Garcia is acting real strange drinking alcohol while in camp to face Devin Haney. In addition, Ryan appears to be larger than normal in recent photos and videos with a little over a month to go before his April 20th fight. Will Ryan Garcia make weight for this historic boxing event? Find out in today's video. Man, oh man, Ryan Garcia is on a tight one. Ahead of his upcoming fight with none other than Devin Haney. Now, before I get started today, make sure you slide over to my Instagram page. We are almost at 50,000 followers. Boom. Link in the description, or you can go to my link tree. Make sure you give me a follow. This is my verify. You'll see the check mark and everything. Ego Weight Watchers, AKA Ew, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Let's take a look at it. So, I posted this. It says ego weight watchers, AK ill, often imitated, but never duplicated. Ryan Garcia gets jacked for the Devin Haney fight, right? He's looking big. That's just what it is. Looks like Ryan Garcia is trying to get his Arnold on. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey, Dylan. Hey, Devin. <laughs> right? These are pictures this week. Now, the thing that's concerning is I'm not the smartest brother in the world, but Ryan, as of me recording this video, literally has a little over a month and it does not look like he's even remotely close to descending on his cut. Like he doesn't look like he's doing the weight cut, right? And if you know boxing and you know Ryan Garcia's measurements, you look at he look almost big as Derek James, who, who is the trainer and who's like six feet tall. Right. And you see Ryan, they don't look like I mean, obviously, this is, this is sitting down, so it's not to scale per se. But if you just look at the like shoulder width and stuff, he don't look mad smaller than Derek James. That's a fact. Fact. So Ryan's last fight was at a catch weight. This fight is at the 140 pound mark and Ryan says getting after it for real queen. What's up? Y'all think I'm actually playing dead at vengeance in my eyes with love, but my pain will be felt run. Now, the only problem with Ryan's words is he's developed a bit of a the boy who cried wolf type of aura around him, right? Where you can't just go off of Ryan's words. If I'm being blunt, you can't because Ryan said the same things about fighting tank. He said, I'm gonna knock him out in two rounds and he's getting sat down in the second round. He's getting dropped, mm, drop. He's getting dropped in the second round. So he, he talked trash in that fight. More recently, he's taken to social media and people have varying feedback as far as ryan garcia and his approach to social media for this particular fight is that a toga <laughs> but different people feel different ways about how ryan garcia is utilizing his social media right but nonetheless he went on several times saying hey they're trying to have me do a mental evaluation this that and the third yada 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 and now i'm getting off social media to focus but then he's not actually getting off social media and i'm showing you several pictures he just looks really too big and it doesn't look like he's even cutting this is not like this is cool you look at the new movie with jake gyllenhaal roadhouse and conor mcgregor conor mcgregor bulked up for that role right but that's cool because he hasn't been fighting right he hasn't fought since the poirier rematch so i'm not anti somebody putting on size if it's for creed or you know a movie role but that's not efficient in boxing because muscles don't win fight so bulking up really serves no real purpose it has to be functional muscle ryan needs to cut weight and that's what the interesting thing is here can he make weight and judging from these pictures i definitely have my concerns because again look at him next to derrick james he just looks big 
And even though he's new to 140 pounds, he just he looks very big for a month out, right? This is Ryan Garcia. You know, he got the chains on. So, you know, he's trying to push himself. This is just such a weird fight. Look at him. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all. I don't know, man. You guys let me know. Ryan, to me, to be basically a month out, he looks too big. And it doesn't even look like he's trying to cut. And this whole promotion has been weird. Let me just, let me let the cat out the bag. The whole promo the whole thing has been weird. I feel like there's been different things that Ryan Garcia particularly has been doing that almost feels like he's trying to do his damnedest to force the fight to get canceled. And then he's acting almost like shocked that people are suggesting that. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Y'all tripping. But are we really tripping when you're literally drinking alcohol? In fact, I'm going to show y'all the video for Ryan Garcia. This is just, I want to say Friday night. Yeah, Friday night, Ryan Garcia. So again, for someone who is a month out from their fight and you're sipping on some drink, we got to take a look at that tape. Why y'all keep about my tape? What movie is that from? So if you guys appreciate all the effort that I'm putting in to the content make sure you guys subscribe to the channel again follow my instagram page you know leave me a comment anything that you feel is appropriate if you received any value from this particular video and the effort that i made now we're going to look at ryan garcia the night he was drinking in camp roll the clip that is crazy and yes, and yes, I'm running for president. I'm not even kidding. This one, hey, I'm going to take a toast to all the haters. Empty. Drank it all myself. What? Bro. Now what? Yes, and yes. I'm so first of all, he sound like he has almost like a drinking problem. Like, his voice has been hoarse since the Super Bowl, right? At first, I was like, all right, maybe this was his first Super Bowl. He was screaming, you know, my Niners lost. But it was an exciting game, right? So I'm like, big as the Super Bowl. Big as the what? Big as the what? So maybe he was just at the Super Bowl screaming. Plus, he had that little fracas with Devin Haney. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but... At the press conferences, which happened weeks later, his voice still seemed messed up. Devin Haney even asked him about that. He said, what the F happened to your voice? I mean, everyone noticed it. His interviews with The Breakfast Club, it just sounded really like raspy and hoarse, like he was thirsty. And one thing I do know is alcohol dehydrates you. So I have so many questions, so, so many questions. Alcohol is definitely, you could look it up, definitely dehydrates you. And Ryan was the other day i mean he's just doing so many things it's really hard to just keep up and capture everything in each video but he was seemingly drinking and then he had a bottle of nyquil and his handler or something was like don't do that don't drink that and he was like oh i'm gonna drink the whole bottle i mean it's crazy and he's like i'm gonna drink the whole bottle so i can sleep so it doesn't look like he's getting proper sleep this is just not a training camp that i've ever seen from a high level athlete before. And I hope to not see it again. Seems very distracted, drinking alcohol. You just seen it. I mean, it's just, this whole thing looks bizarre. And I don't know why Ryan is acting like that, but let's run it back. Listen to his voice. That is crazy. And yes, and yes, I'm running for president. I'm not even kidding. This one, hey, I'm going to take a toast to all the haters. See? 
Empty. Drank it all myself. Like, why are you bragging? Like, what? <laughs> Why are you bragging about this? Is you got a fight in a month, and you said I drank it all by myself? Hey, I'm gonna take a toast to all the haters. Mind-boggling. Empty. Drank it all myself. No. Nope. And there's a lot of stuff. It, like, depending on what alcohol you're drinking, because who's to say it's just wine? Like he's showing, you know, alcohol in general has a lot of. It has a lot of sugar content, carbs, depending on if you're drinking like beer, yeast, right? We're just talking about calories. I mean, it's just, it's weird, weird stuff that you're drinking. Now, what the f are you going to do to me? All you guys f drink. Half of you guys are f drunk in the chat. You fucking hating ass. And he said, all, <laughs> bro, he said half of y'all drink and... All y'all drink. That may be true, but all of us aren't professional boxers with the fight in a month. Like that. Like I remember back in the day, people made a big deal of uh, Michael Phelps, the Olympic swimmer, because he he said he smoked weed. You know what I mean? It's like at the end of the day, you chose this path. You chose this career path, and. You're the professional athlete. You're talking about like almost everyday Joe Schmoes in your comment section. Man, y'all drink too. Yeah, but they're also not main eventing at the Barclays. Hey, I'm going to take a toast to all the haters. Wow. Empty. Drank it all myself. That's something to be proud of. Now what the f*** are you going to do to me? All you guys Drink. Half of you guys are drunk in the chat. You fucking hating ass. You ain't gonna tell me if I, I if what I gotta do to be a bet a good boxer. I know boxers that went in the ring drunk as and knocked them out. Have I ever done that? No. I know. So this this man is funny. He said he knows boxers that went in the ring drunk and knocked someone out. I mean. There's people who ran butt naked on a four lane freeway. Doesn't mean you should do it. You hate me. You guys know damn well you guys are drinking right now. Haters. That is crazy. And yes. And yes, I'm running for president. I'm not even kidding. I don't even this know. One, hey, I'm going to take a toast to all the haters. Mm -mm -mm. So to me. I have concerns about Ryan's weight, especially if he's openly drinking like that. After that live stream, it looks like somebody shut him down. His posts were removed all, but like all of them were removed. And if you go to his page now, like especially on Instagram, the only posts remains are like brand new posts since this deactivation. But this whole thing is looks bizarre. And if Ryan is not trying to get the fight canceled by saying he's suing the New York State Commission and drinking alcohol and publicizing it. Like for starters is like if you're a celebrity, you're you're in a nice hotel or you rented a, a house or Airbnb or whatever, no one would know what you're doing. So that makes me feel like something's like kind of off with Ryan Garcia. The fact that he's publicizing this. Like, it'd be one thing if you were just like, oh, ain't no one going to tell me what to do. I'm Ryan Garcia. I'm drinking. It's a Friday night. But why are you advertising it? So, yeah, it stands. Ego Weight Watchers. I have concerns about Ryan Garcia's weight because it doesn't look like he's taking this serious. And he's drinking and he's advertising the fact that he's drinking. Again, if he wants to, you know, play that game, uh, you guys drink too. They're also not pro fighters. But aside from that, like I said, why it's just real juvenile, like kind of like real immature. If you're gonna drink, drink. You know, you're a grown man, you could buy liquor, you're over 21. But why are you making it so public? I just don't see the thought process, which leads me to believe that this could be some kind of manic episode. And there is no thought process. It's just whatever I feel, whatever emotion it is for the day. We riding with that because it seems very, very foolish to think you're going to inspire ticket sales.
by looking like you're giving up on training. You don't look like you're making weight. You know what I mean? Or there looks like there's a chance that you could not make weight. Some people believe the fight's not going to happen and you're going to pull out. You even have guys like Shakur Stevenson volunteering to step up if in fact that happens and you know basically fill in i don't understand it. for those that are saying oh this is just ryan promoting the fight you're just not inspiring ticket sales from from what i'm saying because for that you have to give people even if it's not true you have to give them the feeling that you have a chance to win like conor mcgregor versus floyd me being the lifelong boxing head i knew he couldn't touch floyd with boxing gloves on in a boxing rule set that was that was like an easy prediction but connor is the ultimate showman so connor mcgregor what he does well is he has the charisma and you know the punch lines and the gift of gav so at least he's riling up his troops mcgregor's army and giving them hope i was in vegas for that fight so there was a ton of irish flags and stuff and people with red beards and posters saying oh the mayweather's you know and all this type of stuff who the uck is that guy and you know all that type of stuff so that's the difference between a conor mcgregor in his prime and a ryan garcia conor mcgregor had people like skip bayless on first take or undisputed whatever he had at the time saying that mayweather can't take his power so he was making people believe ryan garcia for me is not really doing that and i he's if anything he's giving me more questions like are we going to even get the fight questions like can you make weight questions like are you mentally and physically fit to be going in the ring like is this a good idea for you when you're downing a bottle of alcohol and instead of it being kind of behind the scenes if that's what your prerogative and that's what you felt like you needed to do you're advertising it like this is something to man you guys do it too so it, fame is not for everybody and maybe the pressure of the fight and already losing the tank I think that tank loss because you have to look at it. Ryan Garcia talked about, he talked heavily. He said after the Luke Campbell fight, he got dropped in that fight, won the fight by knockout, and he still felt depressed after that fight. And he was having like memory loss and things like that. So psychologically, someone who's already struggled with a fight that they won versus Luke Campbell, imagine whatever was going through his mind after actually losing. And then Golden Boy didn't go to the press conference, Bernard Hopkins. Oscar De La Hoya, he probably felt lonely and abandoned. Plus, as a professional fighter, he was no longer undefeated. So who knows what's going through his mind after the tank loss? I definitely think that has something, a part to play. And then on top of that, you made a lot of money. And you know, Idle Hands is the devil's playground. You made a lot of money, more than you've ever made. Maybe you start dabbling into other stuff or like you had, it just, when you have more money, you have more access look at like charlie sheen you know charlie sheen at the height of his career and two and a half men and in the 80s he was out there wilding because he was son of a legend martin sheen and you know living that hollywood lifestyle so you get invited to more parties and all that type of stuff you guys know what money what money gives people access to so if you don't have a strong team around you you don't have any restraint then it could get ugly and it could get ugly fast, but I don't see why Ryan's advertising this stuff. Rewind this video and look through some of those pictures that I showed and videos that I showed. I have questions if he's going to make weight because it doesn't even look like he's cutting weight. And then he's taking things with a lot of calories and sugar and carbs and stuff like that. He literally asked in the video, I want Shake Shack. Like this just doesn't sound like the diet of it's like i don't i don't know if he's trying to sabotage it or what but you're eating shake shack burgers you can't like all the money you have you're not gonna get a nutritionist you're drinking wine openly you're looking real erratic and man i'm done